Okay, what is up MLS? It's me, Amma Jane on Amma Jane TV, and we are here to do JYP himself. Mr. Park is back. He is back. So he is back when we when we disco. So this is most likely 100 percent disco. I've been waiting for this day to come because I knew he did release his, his song, but again, hiatus. I decided to go on hiatus because I wasn't in uni, I wasn't in my room, I wasn't in a setup, like in a comfortable setup that I could say, okay, this is where I'm gonna film. Again, it was very hard, so I decided not to film anything. So, <clears throat> Mr. Park has released a duet. Well, it's not a duet, it's, it's almost featured in the song, okay? None other than Somni. Again, what did I say about Somni? Hmm? Somni is that type of person that she has so much respect for JYP himself. Because if it wasn't for JYP to hire this girl, not just hire, to cast her for to become a singer, to become a a member, a former member of Wonder Girls, if it wasn't for him to give her solo songs, I kid you not this girl wouldn't exist and we all thank it's all thanks to jyp himself like come on jyp jyp knows how to treat women period period if you look at the at the at his former um k-pop idols that k-pop groups that have been on jyp like uh miss a and wonder girls they were the only two they were like the first two girl groups in jyp and then 2 p.m 20 a.m came in around and then god seven and twice and itsy and stray kids and day six those those are the new generations however somni somni's here so somni is here to stay is here to stay for a long time in in the in the industry of k-pop so okay nothing happened okay so we're going to do JYP um, when we disco with Sony in three two one go go oh my god oh shoot good look this little setup is really adorable very old-school that like romantic but I love it He looks good. He looks good. I expected them all the flair type, you know, like the 70s. Mm, disco. It is more the 80s. Well, oh, okay. His, his trousers is a bit of a flair one, but it's not enough. Oh, I expect somebody to have that. That dress, so pretty. I want. Oh, look. Yes, ten years ago. Oh, are they giving a, giving a homage to Saturday Night Fever? Yes, they are. If you haven't seen this movie, bitch, where were you? That movie is legendary. Who the hell is you? years later look at how this queen she looks so pretty yes oh my god yes that gives that so style oh they got some foreigners there I mean, the song is very 80s, 
But the, the, the aesthetic of this is very 70s, very Saturday Night Fever, like, bro, I haven't seen that movie in a hot minute. That movie is a legend. John Travolta made that movie, like literally. He made that movie, and especially, everyone all knows the... Who's this man? I'm so happy. I'm so happy seeing this. I think people at one point they were like, ah, JYP doesn't know how to treat Wonder Girls. They don't know me. There's always those people talking so much waffles as usual. And seeing this is evident that she really is has 100% gratitude towards JYP himself because he did help her out. She, I think she was, if I'm wrong, if I'm correct, she was going through a lot when she was younger that she had to like think of look after her younger brother or something like that. And if it wasn't for actually no, yes, something along the line, and she decided to, to go for an audition and JYP saw this girl, saw the potential, and he's like, This girl has star quality, I'm picking this girl for for, for training and to become a superstar and well he doesn't take Very lovely. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, Pulp Fiction? I wasn't wrong with Saturday Night Fever, so he. Oh, JYP, thank you for. <laughs> JYP actually just gave out his, um, more or less, um, his last thing why he, he decided to put two things in one. So. The first one I said I was right, it was um, Saturday, Saturday Night Fever and I didn't know there was Pulp Fiction inspiration in it. That's, that's, that's the first. I should have known because it's... So apparently, no apparently, it's a fact that those two movies is in fact JYP's favourite two movies. Huh, I give that 10 out of 10. You know what, if you haven't seen none of those movies, I barely remember, barely remember. Pulp Fiction. I was really young when I first saw it, like in TV when I was younger, like what, five, six years old? I was a five year old or six year old, like don't remember. But I do remember there was a, there was a certain scene, it was with Uma Thurman with her, you know, her iconic little, little bob hair and dancing like a cat with, um, you know, she was dancing with John Travolta. So those are the two that's the one thing I remember, and the most legendary <laughs> quote by Samuel J. Jackson. English motherfucker, do you speak it? Like, bro, if you don't know that movie, if you've never seen it, go watch those movies, because those two movies are legendaries. They are iconic movies. They're really iconic movies. And obviously, again, John Travolta made those movies. He made them happen, and it's just straight up. Legendaries. Anyways, I give it a 10 out of 10. Um, again, I was really happy to see Somni with with JYP featuring this music video. This goes and shows that she still gives gratitude to this man because this man was a was a reason why she became a superstar. This is the reason why she's a star right now, and even even beyond, even after she left. Wonder Girls on um, JYP, the company, she is still, look at her, like, boy, do I need to explain? I, I just, this queen works her ass off. Like, she, she, she did not waste time to become one because she wanted one and she needed it as well because to, also to help out her family. And so, well, she, she, she did, she did well, she did well and, and I'm glad to see that JYP still cares about her. He still cares about his, his artists, even if they left. Like, like bro, he was the one who helped out Rain, be Rain as well. He helped her out tons. I mean, they got a really close friendship. Uh, I don't know about Jay Park. 
But then again, Jay, if it wasn't, again, if it wasn't for JYP, Jay Park would not do what he's doing right now. AYMG wouldn't exist. JYP, Jay Park would be just, would be meh. But look at him now. This, this is the thing. Look at him now. It's all thanks to this man. It's all thanks to this man with, with his heart knows, he knows is it, this guy's going to be a star. I can see, I can smell it star quality and look at them look at these people be from b rain sunny and j park just look at them now and look at what they have achieved throughout the years or what they have right now then you can come back and say yes you're right so with that being said i'll give it a 10 out of 10 i really enjoyed this i love you all, and you on everyone and still on here